Hello, it's Bud, and I have made a new thing. I call it Budlabs slash Gurl or GANU slash URL Handler Plumber Framework. Uh, it's a fancy name, right, for a simple little script. Uh, but I kind of felt that I wanted to, to share this and tidy it up and add it here to, to the Bud Labs organization. Let me just close the window. Uh, and uh, what it does is it will set up a, a little environment or stage or what to call it for where you can add your URL uh, handling uh, functions. It gets weird to just sit here and talk about what it does, uh, so I thought let's let's start by demoing it uh, as soon as uh, immediately here, and then we might get back to the to the documentations here. But there is really no, uh, or we can look at this part at least. Um, you can execute it. There's only one way to execute it really: uh, the command, and then you need a URL and optional arguments, as many arguments as you want. Uh, and you can also set uh, this D or matchers deal option to override the matchers deal environment variable, which will default to config slash gurl. The first time you execute it, it will create this directory with some example files, which are described in more detail here, but uh, let's do this in, for real instead. So I think I have, yes, here is my .config directory. Also prepared a, a project here. Um, so if we do this, girl something, or let's do this. Let's be sure, girl something. No pattern matching something, but it should have created here. Yes, it created this directory here, and it should also be visible here in damn it, damn it. reload here. These are the those files. Um, dot last here, that only contains uh, the last arguments passed here to Gurl. So we, if we wrote some. Uh, Something else and add more args, whatever. No pattern matching else. And this is also a good uh, clue to how this works. It only matches uh, or try to match the first argument here. It doesn't care at all about the rest of the arguments, uh, really. But in last now, we can see that now it, it will create add each argument to its own line. This can this is just handy when you're trying to debug patterns and URLs and, and things like that. Whatever. Default is the default uh, action that is performed if no uh, if if we cannot find a match for uh, our URL or argument here. And that is the, the action that is performed here. It prints no pattern matching and then dollar one and dollar one is the first argument passed to, to Gurl here will be the first argument in the executed action. These matches uh, I'm talking about, they are found in these match files. Here we have a match file uh, directly in the root here of, of the Gurl uh, or matchers directory with these two patterns um, and these two actions. So, so this is a whole syntax. You just write the action, colon, white space, any number of white space, any kind, and uh, a regular expression that will work uh, in awk. So it should be awk compatible regular expression. Um, so these two matches here, here we have one uh, that uh, matches youtube slash youtube dot sh and that's a uh, executable file that is relative to the match file uh, it was uh, written in, the action was written in. So here the match file is located here, which means we need to, to write the path YouTube slash YouTube SH because here is that file. Uh, 
So if we try here, YouTube, no pattern matching YouTube because it needs also the .com according to this pattern here. So .com, we could even have uh, more stuff if we wanted to like this, but it will still match this YouTube. And now we can see we got a notification here, a YouTube link. Let's see what happens in this script. All, right, all, it, all it does is executing message.sh with the string a YouTube link. And this is just to demonstrate how uh, the, the different executables work and, and the paths and stuff, you know. So message.sh here is located in lib. All uh, executable files in the lib directory is... Uh, the lib directory is added to the path when you execute these uh, actions. So you don't have to specify any path for these and they are uh, uh, available for all, all actions. And message is of course just a notify send that executes all arguments here. Okay, that's uh, a simple one. Let's see what we have more here. The next uh, pattern matches google.com. And here the action is uh, a command, uh, notify send, uh, which is not part of, of this uh, directory structure. And it's just to demonstrate that it, that it doesn't have to be a, a file in this directory. You can also add any command really. Uh, and then it will execute notify send here if, if we pass Google. So google.com slash what's good to do that and then we get a notify send with uh, it it will for girl here will forward all arguments to uh, the action but then I also have a subdirector here uh, called github which have its own match file and I guess this is the, the whole uh, point on this is, is that you can create like a plugin based uh, uh, system and really fine uh, tune your different URL uh, pattern matchings. You know, you can have different actions depending on if it's an image from Reddit or if it's an image from GitHub or whatever and then whatever, you know. But these all match files here are tested when we execute the, the girl command. Actually, this file is the last one that's, uh, that gets tested. Every, every match file in subdirectories uh, are tested before the last one. And here, as you can see, we have two uh, matches and there is no uh, other path other than the, the name of the files here because they are relative to the match file uh, they were written in and this match file lives in github here if we wanted to ex uh, execute the youtube command here could make uh, just to demonstrate i haven't really tested this but it should work and we have to write uh, write the relative path uh, like this and then we can make a pattern that just uh, is uh, Paternos, paternos, that's a pattern. And then we can do gul, paternos, hello, YouTube. You see, now we get an error. This uh, is not an executable file, it doesn't even exist. YouTube.sh. Maybe it doesn't work with these, or maybe this works. Huh? Ah, I'm stupid. I didn't write the correct path. I have to write the directory YouTube. YouTube. Slash YouTube SH. I think this will work. Yes, a YouTube link. And it matched the pattern here, Paternos. And here you can see also, you can do it. It doesn't have to be a URL. It doesn't have to. It is still matched as a regular expression. But you know, this is also a valid regular expression. Just to demonstrate things here, we are not really doing anything useful. But GitHub here, it matches either a GH file, which is a file on GitHub, a file link, uh, for example. They, look, they, they often look like this. And when they have a blob in the file name, that means they will take you to a URL uh, or a page on GitHub like this. It's, and this is not the actual file, you know. The actual file is here. It looks like this. 
and then we can see the URL there or whatever um, so this script is almost use, useful uh, gh file here we can test it Google and it say make file is a github uh, I don't know why it says make file Ah, no, oh, oh, yeah, that's the name of the file. It's a make file. Let's do it again. Make file is a GitHub file. Uh, download link in clipboard. Hmm, interesting. So if I press Control V here in Sublime, then we get the, the, the link here. And as you can see, it have replaced blob with raw. And that, that is the URL to the actual file. And as you can see here, that is what we are doing. We replace blob with raw in argument one. Uh, pass that to cb.sh which is another script here in the lib directory, which just uh, echoes that into xclip. Put it in the clipboard. Easy. Repo, uh, it takes the, the, the link to a repository. For example, this is a link to a repository without any files or directories uh, appended. That will pr uh, prompt here for a, with a D menu, clone bug labs, girl to this uh, homebud git clones girl. Yes. Then it says you answered yes. It never clones anything or, or something like that, but it would be easy to add that if you wanted to. Um, and I guess the interesting thing here is that we here we source uh, a file assets slash vars, which is located in this subdirectory, which contains uh, a variable with a path, uh, the clone deed path here. The interesting thing here is that we can source with a relative path. We don't have to do any weird uh, read link stuff or anything. It just works trademark thing, you know. Right, so that's uh, what this is. Um, it's a very, very uh, compact script here. This is uh, the whole function. It's, it's about uh, 25 lines here. Um, that does all, all this. Um, sure, there is this create conf did um, function that creates the, the default configurations, but that is not really part of this function. It's really two lines of, of awk here, and then we set up uh, with adding directories to the path and, and changing working directory here, and then execute the command passing all arguments, but only if the command is really uh, executable. I don't know. I, I, I think uh, the, this is um, this is nice. It's much better than any other um, URL handler I have been using. But I have also written all my URL handlers in the past myself, and they uh, there is I know there is uh, uh, programs out there uh, who does similar things. Maybe exactly the similar uh, same thing. I don't know. I have always written them myself. I think it's a simple, lightweight, uh, um, useful uh, tool here. And of course you could change uh, directory with the D option and then uh, have different directories. Maybe you sometimes use it for URLs and sometimes you use it for, for other patterns, just as we saw. And, and you could create like a launcher out of this uh, if you wanted to. If you have imagination, I don't know. Mm. So yeah, it's available on GitHub. I haven't really uploaded it to AUR, but it's a, it's a one minute job to do so. So I will probably do it while YouTube processes this video. Um, if you like it, use it. If you don't like it, don't use it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, and I don't know, the reason I, I wrote this is because as you can see, I have changed uh, back to Vivaldi again. I'm using the Vivaldi browser right now. Uh, and I have been sp <laughs> spending the last week here uh, rising that browser and uh, doing a lot of weird uh, JavaScript and CSS dirt hacks and stuff like that, but whatever. I think I will make a video about uh, how to set up Vivaldi here. I had a little conversation on, on my YouTubes uh, with uh, Yahi Apsi here, who 
asked some questions about my Pale Moon setup and we got talking about Vivaldi and um, yeah, whatever. I think I will make a, a video or two about uh, some things you can do with this browser because it's whatever. Let's not get into that here now. But it's a fun browser to uh, just uh, play around with and customize. It's very, very uh, friendly, customizable, friendly, rice friendly browser. But it's maybe not the most privacy uh, friendly browser. Whatever. Get girl. Have a good day. Bye, bye, bye.